Okay guys, so in this video I am going to talk about how to create links and links are either external links to external websites or internal links which are links to bookmarks. So I'm going to talk all about links and bookmarks and links to bookmarks. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is how to create an external link to a website. Okay. So all you need to do is basically we we go to a piece of content. So in this situation, I've I've uh, selected the title page, and what I want to do is I want to actually create a link back to my website. And this is this is very useful if you want to do some, uh, you know, if you want to drive traffic from your ebook to your website. So you can do something like um, visit my website for more information right and you can actually have this whole thing as a clickable link which might be a good idea so first of all what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have the correct font and right now it is uh, Times Roman so I'm going to change that to Arial okay and I'm going to change that to Arial 12 and then I'm going to go to web links and then I'm going to say insert web link. Now notice I've highlighted this, okay? You don't have to highlight, but it's more intuitive to just intuitive to just highlight this and then you say insert web link, okay? So if you've noticed here, the highlighted text already appears as the as the display text and now you just have to provide a URL. So I'm just going to provide my own URL ultimate ebook creator.com okay and then we click OK now and there you go that's your link it's now r as of this recording if you click on this link it ain't gonna do nothing okay you need to basically render the book in EPUB or Mobi or PDF or MS Word whatever you export the book to or I call generate the book and then the final version which is your actual ebook that's when if you go to the um, the link then it will be um, you will be able to click it so I'm just gonna demonstrate that right at the end when I actually go through the whole book okay and I'll show you how the links work so that is one and so the next one I want to show you is uh, linking to a bookmark so I want to create an internal link to a page and a section in in a uh, in in another part of the book okay so over here I have um, let me see over here I have uh, this rosemary ranch chicken kebabs okay so here is my recipe alright and by the way I took all these recipes from allrecipes.com or uh, .ca I should say and this book is just a sample you know it's not I'm not stealing anybody's work or anything so don't worry um, and I use this as a sample to create my videos okay so in this recipe I want to create a link to a, a source right that I want to recommend so all you need to do is basically uh, type in a piece of text and then you need to basically go up to bookmarks so let me highlight it okay and then I'm gonna go to the bookmarks and I'm gonna say insert link to a bookmark okay now remember I haven't created a bookmark yet but I wanna link to a bookmark but one of the beauties of the ultimate ebook creator is that as soon as you create chapters and sections these become available as uh, you know like links inside this dialog box which is called link to bookmark inside this tab which is called table of contents so if I go to the table of contents you're gonna see all the chapters and all the sections and we can automatically jump to any chapter or section okay now when we link in this way we are actually jumping to the top of the chapter or the section so for example if I if I clicked on this one which is speciality sources okay I want to jump to speciality sources and I click OK I create this link 
and in the final book if I click on this link what's going to happen is you are going to end up right here in this right at the top right here so you're going to see the page right here now what if I didn't want to jump to the top of the page but I actually wanted to jump to exactly this source here so I don't want to jump to the top of the page I want to jump to the exact uh, area or the um, place in the page where I want the user to jump straight away to okay so in order to do this we need to create a bookmark and in fact that's exactly what I want to do because if you go back to my recipe rosemary recipe I've said recommended sauce right let me just remove this because I don't want this I'm gonna say rec recommended sauce I should spell that correct sauce and then underneath I'm gonna say teriyaki alright so I'm going to just highlight this so it's like a little section and now what I'm gonna do is before I can actually create the link I need to create a bookmark at the teriyaki sauce uh, place where the teriyaki sauce is so I go back to my speciality sauces then I go I scroll right down to teriyaki sauce I put my cursor right in front of this you could put it you could put it here too or you could put it here as long as it's on this line I prefer to put it right in front of the title then I go to my bookmarks and I say insert bookmark okay and then I'm just gonna say T ter teriyaki all right teriyaki now remember this must not contain any spaces okay it must be just you know no spaces at all and I usually give it some kind of a name which makes sense to me and I click OK all right so now there's a bookmark here now how do you know there's a bookmark here well there is a visible uh, indication that you can turn on so if you go to bookmark and you say show bookmarks now you can see this little gray eye well that shows that there is a bookmark here okay and there is also another one which says manage bookmarks so when you go to manage bookmarks only for this content it's going to show you all the bookmarks okay so we just have this one bookmark and remember it's not going to show you the bookmarks inside the entire book it's only for this content okay for this particular section alright so once we've done this now we have our bookmark we can go back to our rosemary um, ranch uh, chicken kebab recipe we go down to where we want to create the link and I'll highlight this okay I'm gonna highlight this and then I'm just gonna go up to bookmark and then I'm gonna say insert bookmark okay now this time in the content bookmarks tab as you can see we have a bookmark called teriyaki which we just created and it also tells you that it is under the section speciality sources which is under the chapter of main course so this is just yet another indication of how you would locate this particular um, bookmark if you wanted to okay so once we highlight this we can here we can change the text if you want to we'll leave it the way it is and we'll click OK 